Hey guys, welcome back. It's Green Reaper pointing you for another video of Fresh Shadows. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, you're doing well and hopefully, you're looking after yourselves um, and hopefully, having a great start to the week. Uh, we're in the middle of the week. The weekend is coming very, very fast. Um, and CVC is just finished. Uh, we have a bit of a time to chill now in Racia Legends. Um, so yeah, I will be doing a bit of um, spider farming for myself for the next couple of weeks, working on silver for my account. Uh, that's what I'm planning to do until the next fusion, uh, which is due probably in around about, it should be announced in probably next Friday about the, the next fusion, right? So hopefully better than this fusion. But again, uh, if it's a bad fusion, it's what it is. Hopefully it's a fragment, so it's not so demanding. Um, so yeah, anyway, we're on No Needles account, uh, recently been working with No, uh, Needle No Name, um, sorry, Need No Name, Need No Name, uh, recently to improve his Hydra Clash, he's in SP1 and obviously I'm in SP2, uh, he's in Sacred Panda 1 and I'm in Sacred Panda 2, and, um, there was a, he wanted me to improve his Hydra Clash, uh, performance and he kind of reached out to me to do that and his personal best in Hydra Clash was around about 5.5 uh, so far we took him to about 30 30 35 billion in Hydra Clash we'll have to take a look probably in the next video um, about that because we still got one more key to do so I'm probably looking forward to doing that um, and we've got some giant um, reworks done so we worked his uh, nightmare team today in stream and uh, kind of made it like look a bit. It was a, it's a bit of a funky team, but it's a team that is really, really consistent. Now, I ran this team on full mangle. This team would be perfectly fine to run on full auto as well. So, uh, Need No Name has plenty of options uh, to do with his. Uh, account and stuff like that and once i show you the team tomorrow you pretty much will be gobsmacked on how much we have improved his account he has a fantastic account he's a fantastic player a very knowledgeable player as you can see he does have the avatar for the carnage so he's cleared all the rotations of curse city including the first rotation so he's only one of handful players to do that and he's not the biggest suspenders as well in all fairness he's quite a low spend player so he's not like he's tap tap in too much. Um, he doesn't speak Halder language, so he's perfectly, perfectly fine with that. So um, obviously a big shout out to my chat in stream that kind of listen to my thoughts and ideas and always giving their pennies worth, which is always appreciated uh, and helps me improve people's accounts. One head is not always just enough with uh, Rage or Legends. You got to use a lot of experiences. And I like doing this type of stuff within stream because there is a lot of big brains in my uh, chat and uh, experiences with different champions that maybe I don't have or maybe I'm sleeping on or look overlooking. So it's kind of key. Anyway, I will drop timestamps down below because I'm probably going to have to be going on quite a bit in this video today um, and stuff like that. Overall, it's going to be a big one for sure. So we're going to look at his nightmare team. This is his, his nightmare team. We have got a couple of mythicals in here, so bear this in mind. This is an end game account, and a lot of end game accounts have mythicals now. Um, I personally have four mythicals as well. I have Carnage on myself, and I have Lady M as well. So they are two champions, two mythicals that are some sort of a free to play mythical because at some point you will get them if you've been playing the game long enough. Are they easy to detain? Carnage, especially not easy to attain. Um, but if you are grinding away on Curse City, you will grab him at some point, which is fairly quite good, right? And he is quite a good mythical. I don't think he's overpowering, but he is a really, really good mythical. And he's top draw uh, overall. I think he, if anything, he's slightly underrated. I think a lot of people overlook him. Uh, maybe that's because of sheep. So. Um, I've always been trying to run him in Hydra for the past couple of uh, weeks. You guys know this because you've seen a couple of videos with him and his damage potential. And finally, I bring you a team that has Carnage damage potential. So let me explain you the roles then and, and what I'm looking at. 
and what we're doing within this team. So uh, obviously there is no provoke champion, there's no provoke set in this team. I will show you how to break the speed tune between DK and uh, Life within the setup, and that is going to be really key for this rotation uh, and the last rotation as well. This will work in as well. So this is a little bit of a detail that uh, I probably don't share as much because I just generally know you go down the provoke side because it's easier to deal with but there is other ways that you can deal with stuff like this so we have uh her coming in with the um uh aoe decrease speed aoe weaken and the uh, increased speed and increased attack which is going to be overall amazing for our team and um she also has a brimstone now again i have mentioned that we'll probably change out this brimstone for more cruelty just so we allow us to do more damage uh, we have Lizard Man in here for the block debuffs, uh, the uh, revive on the passive, the single revive, because Carnage is quite squishy, uh, which is very useful. You get through a 40 minute run. If you can bring in a revive, it's just absolute bonus, especially when you're going for personal best teams like this. Uh, and then he's also going to bring you that block buffs as well, which is pretty nice. He's going to bring you the strength fund for Unwrath, does his uh, massive. Uh, Big bang theory of his passive ability which hits really really hard uh he's also going to bring an increased attack as well and increased accuracy uh, on his first form and we did start using the second form as well for extra damage when raf wasn't around so you'll notice when raf wasn't around we did use a2 especially when there's a lot of dead heads uh two hackers in here is also in here for the block buffs decrease attack increased speed increased defense the A1, which is going to break the speed tune, which I'll show you shortly. And she's also going to be in here to do with the Tormund as well. She's not enough. So that's why we also bring Lizardman for the block boss. Because if you have uh, Mischief, sorry, not Mischief. If you have Wrath and um, Tormund together, you are going to only cleanse off the Provoke. Or you can only cleanse off the, um, the Provoke or the Fear. So we want to keep this team as uh easy as possible and i've generally done that then we're going to bring down our aoe defense champion and uh aoe hex now this is the first time i've used this champion i've seen her knocking around she does great a lot a, potentially a lot of war damage uh, and stuff like that which is very very useful and uh, stuff like that so that is one thing as well i probably look into which is pretty cool um you can use mishi ati in this replacement he would be slightly better but she does hit hard overall so if she's in your vault go take her out ronda's in here for pure dps ronda's in here because she ignores a lot of defense on that a2 ability and it smacks pretty hard and then carnage is in here for dps for the second form and again the more buffs is out on the heads out on the decapitate heads the more ignore defense he does and the more damage he ramps up. Now, if you put enough uh, stuff into Nif debuffs on the heads, he can do insanely amount of damage. It's keeping him alive. Now, with Lizardman's uh, revive on his first form as passivity, that works pretty useful uh, as well. Uh, you can see we're also using the blessing, the new one of the new blessings on him as well, which I'll explain later on when I'm showing the builds why we're using this. So anyway, I'm going to run the team now. Uh, I pretty much give you all the stuff. Um, and we're going to play some music and stuff like that. But before we do that, we're just going to have a look at the start of the run. I might have reset this a few times because it's a little bit tricky to kind of set up. So we're just going to watch the start of the run. I'm going to explain it to you what we're going to do and, and how this team works. And how you can build similar teams to break something like uh, block buff. So as you can see here, you got you know you got DK that's going to go before life. So if you put a block boss without provoke, he will cleanse and he'll put a poison cloud. And we want to try and avoid that. We want to make sure that DK uh, goes after life. And we'll show you right how you do it. Basically, that's what you need to do. You're open with that A1. You've got the decreased speed right there, and then you're going to avoid using a two on her. Uh, as well to do that now you can try this with her as well and see if she'll weak it but that is way more rng and a way more of a nuisance to try and deal with so that's one thing you kind of want to do 
and uh, he will need to do this next week just to set up his key and it will take a few times to kind of make it happen so we'll see there we'll go with a3 and then i'll go with a1 and then we'll go obviously come down with the defense down and the hex ability and then we'll go come in with the block buffs and then we will save a uh two hacks block boss when they do the cleanse and then you'll see here we will come in with some type of damage and the same with the carnage as well now carnage's first form is very good for hydro as well he can spread debuffs and stuff, many things like that as well so you can definitely use his first form as well but just bear in mind he is the main dps in this now he can't attack so he heals a lot um and he's very very useful so you can see i'll probably have a conversation with stream here and then we'll flip forms and do something like so it's not a billion damage yet i think there's a few more adjustments we'll probably just need to make for this so you can see we're missing defense down one ahead so we didn't have perfect rng overall and then we're just going to do a one again there's the poison cloud from him which is pretty nice and then we just wait for the cleanse and then we get on with the run right which is going to happen pretty much when i stop talking uh <laughs> stop talking and get on with the run uh which we'll wait for in a second now it's really important to do this with a single decrease speed champion uh you don't want to try to do this with aoe aoe will be way more rng and it just it just cause you an absolute nightmare it could be done but it's going to cause you a nightmare so that's one thing i'd probably kind of look at you'll see in a minute that he will uh strip and kind of do his thing they are cleanses and then we go on with the run as you can see here only one head gets provoked and it's carnage so that's pretty much it you put the block buffs back down and he does his thing after that so and then we crack on with the run so we're going to put this on a, a very high speed uh because this is a two hour run um so if you want to slow it down you can you can go and catch this in stream as well this will be on my twitch channel which will be down in the links uh for about two weeks on my channel uh so you can take that out from the 19th of june and to kind of see how it works and i'll also reply all the gears and stuff like that you can also slow this down on youtube as well uh with the back button etc so that's also another thing you can do as well if you want to slow this down anyway I'm going to be right back. We're going to let us run and um, I'll come back after this.
Okay, so this is our team then. This is how much we did. We have got uh, Estonia with coming in with 58 million, Lizardman coming with 89, Tuhak 14, and then uh, Martyrix, we're coming with 129 million, Carnage coming in with 204 million, and then Ronda coming in with 108, 180 million as well. So some really big damage here. Uh, really surprising that Ronda just becomes behind Carnage with damage. It's pretty insane, if I'm being honest, and it's really, really impressive. And um, yeah, definitely really, really cool key and stuff like that. Let's go ahead to check all the gear out then um, and stuff like that. We'll go ahead and check out Lizard Man. Now, Lizard Man is arena build. This is something we just kind of need to take into consideration that a few of these are not specifically built for Hydra and are built for pvp so we have got stone skin you don't need stone skin i would recommend taking merciless or a yeah i suppose a merciless set would be quite good a six place merciless would be very very respectful to take from now in the first form we're going to come in with the hydra bonuses as well which we do have a lot of hydra bonuses so we're going to come in with attack of 6000 at 57000 hp 3600 defense 275 speed, 344 critical damage, and then accuracy of 336 as well, and then extra ignore defense as well. So that's one thing. And then we'll look at the second form stats as well. And they just incredibly shoot up on attack, lowers on the defense of 3.3, speed drops to 600, uh, 263, and then 357 critical damage, and then 316 accuracy. Now, accuracy is not really needed for the second form. And then ignore defense there. Now, again, with Raph uh, out and about, if Raph is about, we stay in a two form for survivability. And then when Raph is not around, I would recommend switching into second form, doing as much damage as possible, and having a fourth damage dealer is very, very useful. Um, but again, if you feel like you are starting to die and stuff like that, practice makes perfect, and you can flip to the second form for extra security. Mischief is starting to be a bit naughty. Takes a few debuffs, whip into back into first form, bye bye, uh, continuous heals, and etc. Like you would have seen throughout the run. Uh, so, what we've got then, we've got attack, uh, critical damage, and attack ring. Then we're going to be looking at speed, attack, and critical damage, and all the way through as well. There, for the blessing for him, I would go with uh, harvest cast is the way to go, especially with how many debuffs we had on us. And then these are the masteries that we're running. These are my arena focus. So you could look at these and uh, actually improve these just slightly as well. So let's go ahead and look at build two, which will be our second mythical of the day, which is going to be Carnage. He's going to be in similar type sets as well. And he's going to be coming in with a whopping 7,600 attack. Um, let me go ahead and put the Hydra on as well. 7,555 attack. 3,200 defense, 42,000 for this, and then 301 critical damage, and then 380 accuracy. Now, let's do the magic button, and you see that this goes up to a whopping 9,300 attack, 257 speed, a critical damage stays the same, and accuracy stays the same, and an extra 20% ignore. That, again, I would recommend taking the... Uh, What's it called? Merciless as well for this dude, so you can swing around in his abilities a bit more. Merciless is pretty much the MPV set that you would want to take in these style of teams because you're going to get the cooldown out of the 4%. If you get a 9 piece, you're going to get extra turn, which extra turn could maybe break your speed tune, uh, mainly because you'll leave yourself vulnerable for wrath. That's the only thing that you'll need to take into consideration. Um, uh, but a six piece would give you ignore defense of 35, which would be very, very juicy overall. And again, we have took natural wrath, which is one of the new blessings. And this will increase the damage inflicted by this champion for every debuff they successfully place, uh, set from debuffs placed on gear. So if you are placing a few debuffs on him from, from himself to the boss, he will increase his damage quite a bit which is something you want to kind of want to look at. And then once you get a six star, which you are guaranteed a six star, you want to take that six star cushion room. It's just absolutely insane and broken. Uh, Halvis cast as well for uh, our Ronda. 
and then we're going to come in with the masteries so are very similar as well again no arena build and then we're going to come in with a lethal set uh, and stuff like that so we're going to come in with these and again we're going to come in with 265 speed 375 374 critical damage uh, and then whopping to ignore defense and then 8764 attack and then good hp you want around about 50,000 hp on your uh, champions generally so you've got plenty of survivability as well as you can take a hit from wrath or two even with decreased attack and block buffs wrath is a force to reckon with especially up at this level which is something you'll need to con take into consideration now we're going to show you the rest of the builds which will be really important as well so once i spell the names correctly obviously uh we have a hex set here which is really really important i did put in a provoke set the week before and we only got 18 million damage now provoke set will make this a little bit easier to do but i didn't feel like the provoke set give me a lot of utility overall so that's just one thing to take into consideration and we did run this on brutal last week as well so uh this week we've run this on nightmare these are the masteries which are pretty juicy um the main one you want to make sure you're taking actually is master hex of that aoe for that 30 percent chance of uh the decrease speed and stuff like that uh, again i think if you can get a four piece hex and a fourth four piece merciless that would be the probably one of the best builds that you can get and this would double her damage even more if i'm honest so you will want to keep an eye out for that hex and that merciless piece he's got a really good build already and i'll show you the stats over in a second but yeah it's, it's one of the things that i would take into consideration now we want really good speed and everything from her uh and stuff like that so uh hydra so we got 309 speed 400 accuracy now you only need 400 accuracy on certain rotations so you could opt out for a bit more damage or speed we are crit capped we do only want to make sure all our champions are crit capped as possible and i think everyone is actually crit cat other than two hack and then we have reasonable critical damage and then uh swipe ability as well and uh, then let's just take a look remind myself who i see your team we've got two hack as well and then we've got can't even pronounce her name uh we did put um cruelty on her because cruelty is super super strong and stuff like that now if you don't know a kit she's basically got increased defense so defense down and hex on a free turn cooldown now again merciless would be the ideal set for her uh just to get that defense down a bit more because i did feel like at times that the defense down was lacking uh, and these are the masteries as well uh we're lacking a little bit and again mishi would be the better version of her but mishi would also bring a strip that she doesn't have so these are the stats we've got 6300 attack 285 speed we went quite fast 356 uh critical damage and accuracy and ignore defense oh oh my bad and then let's look at two hack as well so two hack is going to be in a relentless set again you can go merciless set or a reflex set and stuff like that these are stats now i like resistance on mine i do have resistance on mine that's one thing you can take into consideration war master is a tier 6 option as well which is pretty juicy and then probably cruelty or something like that uh and then stuff like that so you want to make sure she's the fastest because she needs to put them block buffs up quite consistently so again you do want to make sure she's quite fast she is taking extra turns without relentless and so we've got 400 accuracy now, if you can crit cap her, go ahead. That'd be really, really cool as well. Uh, but either way, this is super, super solid. Super solid build. And that's it from me today. We have a new personal best for his nightmare. He is really chuffed with his key. And I'm really chuffed with his key as well. So, Rhonda, get her out of your vault. Carnage, get him out of your vault. Because guess what? They are useful for something. So, stop sleeping on them. Build them out and go take them for a spin in hydra they are definitely not going to let you down and this was a very enjoyment key and a massive learning curve for myself as well so there you are 
I've been Grim Reaper. Thank you for watching to the end. I appreciate it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Grim Reaper. See you on the next one. Peace.